What an exciting car. This is the all new Audi RS e-tron GT Carbon Vorsprung Edition. And it doesn't get any better. This is the all electric, for me, supercar power. It's ridiculously quick, but for me, it's a specification. You've got the e-tron, it's a new thing, but the RS Carbon Vorsprung Edition, which literally has every single conceivable extra. This is a fabulous machine in an awesome color called Ascari Blue, which is a brilliant metallic blue, and I'll show you in the sun in a few minutes. 2021, 71 registration with 9,000 miles on, 93 kilowatt battery on it, it's a dual motor, but the spec just goes on, and I drove this car earlier, and I'll take it out in a few minutes to give you a bit more of an insight of what it's all about. It's a four-door coupe styling, saloon car, full electric, gives you nearly just under 300 mile range, 289 I think it is exactly. But it's just the way the car looks. It's phenomenal. The car is absolutely gorgeous from every single angle. But then, like I said, it's just, you know, when you see a car like this, you think, wow, it, it's the future. It's super crisp from every single angle. I'm going to quickly show you the colour just in, under this light because when it hits it, you can see a little bit of turquoise, a little bit of green, blue. When the light hits it, it, it is like brilliant. From the front, you've got this beautiful front end. Obviously, the car's an electric car, so aerodynamically, it has to work. And every part of it, they've taken that into consideration. But just going for the nice little features, first of all, you've got the beautiful Audi laser light system in here with the blue accents, with the dancing indicators and the dynamic indicators and all the LED the daytime running lights. Then this being the carbon Vorsprung edition, you'll see little spots of carbon everywhere. To start off with, these air intakes in the corner, this is all full carbon fibre, and they're real air intakes. So the, the air does get sucked through there, goes over the wheels, and back out sort of the arches and towards the side of the car. But you'll also see this front end, like this is an RS. And like most RS products, are RS7, RS6, and everything else, normally you have an RS6 or an RS grill. So although this is not an RS grill, you can't see from as far as they're dumping, but there's, the pattern is still imprinted on the, on the front section because, like I said, aerodynamically it has to work. You've then got things like night vision, adaptive cruise control, 360 view camera system. The blades on the corners here, again, everything plays a part, everything. It's nice and low to the ground because of its electric car. But then you have these wheels, 21 inch alloy wheels, lovely jet black finish to them, lots of little accents, and then you have these silver blades. Again, aerodynamically, it cuts through the air, and it just it does a perfect job. Charging is just there. You've then got more air intakes down here, which come through here, go down the side. But it's got quite a masculine look to this car as well. You've got the arches that flare up front and rear. You can just see the bulge in here, and I think the lines are absolutely superb. Carbon fibre ring mirror covers. You've then got the full carbon fibre roof. And let's say anything about lightweight and taking the, the weight off the car. And then you've got that interior. Absolutely insane. You've got the beautiful leather interior with the red stitching, the ambient lighting, which is on the, the dash, the floating dash, the centre console, the door pockets. And that leather interior with that sort of super sport effect on it, the, the quilted leather. It's so rich, but very comfortable. And then you've got lots of Alcantara. There's Alcantara on the door cards. But if you look at all the finishing around the door handles and everything just feels super, super good. But then this being the carbon fiber Vorsprung edition, you've got carbon fiber on the door cards, on the center dash, even on the door trims here with the entry kick plate is all illuminated. Other pieces of specification like the Bang & and sound system, more Alcantara up here. This dashboard is very easy to use. It's touchscreen, media system, navigation. You've got things like Apple CarPlayer, Android Auto. And then, you know what else I like about this? Because we sell a lot of Audis here, Q7s and other sort of RS products. And although this is a new car, super crisp, very angled, sharp angles everywhere, and it looks like any good sports car should. I love the idea of simple buttons. Because normally in Audi, to get to the climate control area, you have to go through the system and it can take a little bit too long. Where here, you've got your heated seat and your ventilated seat. Your climate is all there. And it's just very easy to use. But I do love the dials and the heating system and the surrounding carbon fibre, the Alcantara with the red stitching up there, the heads up display. And then you've got this beautiful flat bottom RS steering wheel, again Alcantara as well. 
the new short shifter gear stick there. Now remember, it's like anything. This is a full electric car with all steel, all wheel steering. It looks gorgeous from every single angle, from the outside, from the front to the back, to the interior. When I'm sat in here now, I've got lots of leg room, lots of head room. I just feel like I'm a sat in a sports car. And like I said, I have driven it before and I will take you out. When you're driving it, it drives unbelievable. It drives superb. I've driven lots of electric cars. And sometimes they're a bit bumpy, they're a bit hard because they're quite heavy. The suspensions are quite tough on them, but this one, it takes it really, really well. And it feels like you're in a sporty car, whilst there's quality, because some electric cars, they've, they've missed it. They've missed a lot of bit of the quality, where everything feels a little bit cheap. With this one, it's either leather, it's Alcantara, it's nice and spongy. And this centre section again, which sort of separates you from the driver or the driver from the passenger, I also like that look. The twin cup holders, you've got the, the volume. That banging awesome, by the way. Oh, Best sound system you can get, it's unbelievable the sound system. If you like your music, Bang & Olsen will put a smile on your face. You've then got the drive select mode. Now remember in the drive select mode on this, for example, if I was driving this car every day, I'd leave it in the dynamic mode. So with the dynamic mode, it sort of, it shortens the throttle cable slightly, it tightens the steering wheel, but then the sound enhanced speakers kick in. So it doesn't sound like an RS3 or an RS6. It doesn't start banging and popping and making loads of daft noises, but it does make a noise, a bit of a electrified, Vroom vroom noise, and I'll show you because it's quite exciting. It is. I love this finish with the illuminated e tron straight on the dashboard there. Again, more light underneath. Like the front grille, the indentation carries on throughout the vehicle. It's got that lovely vibe on it. Lights down there. Obviously, frameless doors. So you've got that full coupe styling. Now, remember, this is also a five seater vehicle. I'll be completely straight with you because I want this to be an honest review of this car. I love the car. And you know what? If I was a passenger, I'd squeeze myself in it, no problem. Now, yes, it is a five seater. Can an adult comfortably sit in this section? I'll let you decide that. But I think certainly if there's two in the front, two in the back, this is a fabulous place to be in. It's brilliant. You've got your cup holders, centre armrest, rear heated seats, rear climate, brilliant. If you had to put a third passenger in there, there is a seat belt for it with a contrasting red seat belt. And yes, corset fit in there. There is a tunnel in the, in the way a little bit, but there's lots of leg space, certainly a lot of head space. And don't get me wrong, I'm not the tallest, but if you were six foot, it'd be no problem, absolutely no problem. A couple of things they've done which is quite clever. If you look at the back of the seat, it's hard back, which is lovely by the way again. But then they've took a section off, so they've made it quite bespoke, so it gives you that extra bit of knee room. And then there's lots of sort of feet area space here. I'm not cramped at all, not in the slightest. You've then got the Alcantara and the door cards, obviously the extra sound system. The full roof is Alcantara. Now remember, sometimes you get custom sonar, yeah, I want a pan roof. But the e-tron being the electric car and this being the carbon edition, it's all about taking weight off it. So then to go and put more weight back onto it by putting a glass roof in there, sometimes defeats the object. And I think carbon fibre also looks really good. And that's why I like this. The boot space, again, is tremendous. I love the sloping back on it. You've got the tail lift spoiler on there at a certain speed of lift by itself. I love this carry-on rear lighting system as well. It really is a super sexy car. It's gorgeous. But then it gives a great miles per gallon because it's electric. It's got all the power. You're talking nearly 600 brake horsepower in this e tron RS GT carbon edition, but then it gives you two and a half seconds booster. So in launch, you're talking nearly 648 brake horsepower. That is stupidly quick. Like it's, I can't really comprehend how quick it is. And when you're driving it, you don't feel it. You just you put your foot down and it's just off, off you go. And I love it. Going back to the carbon fibre, this full rear diffuser is, is carbon fibre, this section here. Obviously being an electric vehicle, there's no sort of exhaust. They haven't even put any, any fake ones on because it's not needed. All the badging is done in black as well. You've got automatic tailgate and that is a decent sized boot. Now don't get me wrong, like anything, if you want to create yourself a larger boot area, them seats do go down. If you're going to put some skis through the middle, you have got that section that comes down as well. Your sort of bag holders here. So nothing's rolling about. The automatic tailgate, use the key or press the button. But I love the design, I love the quality, the lighting, the wheels, 
Everything about this car is brilliant because the e-trons naturally come with the sort of smaller wheels and the design on them for me aren't the best. So when you're buying something of this level with this sort of spec on, it's brilliant. Now the charge time, normal charging you're talking about 90 minutes to get you from 10% up to 80%. You use the superchargers, it's a lot quicker, but there isn't that many superchargers in every single area. More carbon fibre. Again, I like this pointy bit. I've seen a couple of people mention about these and think, oh yes, yeah, a bit sticky out. I got in there absolutely fine, didn't hurt my legs. The seating position is, is brilliant. The heads up display, night vision, the massaging seats, heated seats and ventilated seats. It's got everything, literally. Now, obviously, if you know your Audis very well, your normal RS product, like I said, would have an RS button here. This being the, the electric RS e-tron, it doesn't, it has a drive select button, which I've mentioned already. So again, it's not hard. Instead of doing this, you just go down there. With regards to the displays here, I think you can configure and change all them displays. So this is probably the, the one I'd leave it on, the more e-tron display. You can see exactly how much power you've got, how much power you're using, how much charge you've got. It shows you everything that you need to. With regards to the camera system, it's super crisp. It's clear, the definition on that is absolutely brilliant. You can do 360 cameras on it so you can see exactly where you're at with it. So you're not going to curb anything. How cool is that? It's just, I'm not joking, this car is mega. It, it nothing short of phenomenal. It's brilliant. Tom, get in. Let me quickly show you this. Jump in, Thomas, jump in. So I'm in electric mode. These are different drive modes and everything else. I want to put it in drive, take it off there. And when you're setting off, so you've got, you can put it in efficiency, comfort, or dynamic, and that gives a bit of noise. Now remember, all the e-trons come with air suspension, so it'll level the suspension out all the time to give the most comfortable ride. Oh. Just to give you a small feeling of what the car's all about. So there's a nice sound, because I put it in dynamic mode, I can hear a nice little sound, but I will put my me, me foot down a little bit to give you a better. It's got that whirling motor sound you'd expect in any electric car but the exciting thing about this car is the way it shifts it goes and it handles well remember with all-wheel steering at low speed especially for like maneuver when you're parking and stuff the wheels will move the opposite the back wheels move the opposite direction at high speed it'll follow the same direction as the front ones obviously but because it's low to the ground and because of what it weighs it sticks to the floor, this car does. Literally. You can go around roundabouts, round corners and, and push your limits, be safe. And the G-Force is mind-blowing. So, like, you, it's ridiculous how quick this car is. It's mental. Like, I've driven fast cars. I have. But this car is ridiculous. Now, that doesn't mean that you drive around like a complete lunatic every day. There's no need for it. But I promise you now, there is not a lot that'll catch you in this. It is, it's phenomenal, it is brilliant. I'm not faking this smile, I promise you. This car is one of them cars that'll just put a smile on your face. Guaranteed to give you whiplash, if you're not expecting it. But I'll, I even like the sound of that, you know, whirling down. Because them sound enhanced speakers, they're pretty clever. Because if you can hear it or not. Oh, it's very well soundproofed. Again, double glazed windows. Like I said, I've driven lots of electric cars and some of them are quite new to the market, so everything's a bit plasticky. The lines don't join up. This is an Audi. An Audi have done an absolute belt of a job. Like, I'm going around a roundabout here. Tom can't even keep the camera straight because there's that much pulling on it. It's, um, I love it. I actually love this car. If I had to drive a car every day, electric car, I'm not a massive fan of electric cars, truth being told. But, but are you kidding me? This is unbelievable. But it's the, it's, the, it's, the, it's the way the car feels. It feels sporty, but it feels luxurious. You don't feel a bump in the road. I know he's not keeping the camera straight, but it eats the bumps up so well. This is a very good, smooth ride. Whilst you have all the luxuries, all the bells and whistles, 
plug it in all night, get back up in the morning, go to work or go where you're going and enjoy your day in a very stylish, up-to-date, modern electric car with all the spec. Because with this car, you're not going for second best. This, it doesn't get any better. You're getting the RS, the e-tron, the GT, the carbon, the Vorsprung. I mean, you couldn't add more onto that title physically. The features on this car are brilliant. It's the way it drives, it's the way it looks. It's the new thing. And it's ridiculous. And I love it, absolutely love it. If you're looking at one, if you're thinking about one, well, you can get them. Let's be honest about it. This is the, this particular one is the best value in the country. We sell the best cars at Akron Car Centre. Anyone that follows us, that knows us, will already know that. And we always make sure we get the best spec. Try to get the best colours. I love this colour, but I'm biased. I love blue, if you don't know already. So when I see an Ascari blue like this one, where it's got the right fleck on it, I just, I'm in love. It's not matter what the car drives like, but then it's just a nice bonus when the car drives this well, sounds this, this lovely. And it feels good under your hands. Everything feels nice and sporty and warm. Obviously, I've got the heated seats on. Tom's got ventilated seats on, so I am very warm. But there's nothing about this car that I think, you know what? It could have been better, because I don't think you could. I physically don't. How would you better this car? I, 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 that is insane. Let me just, you're not going to see the light, you know. You're not. Let me just get a torch on it, two seconds. Tom, you give the viewers a lovely little tour around the car. Well, I'm going to grab your torch quickly. Just go around the car because it's that nice. You can look at it for that long. Have a look at this. Let me quickly show you. Because you need to see... Uh, where are you? Come over here, please, Thomas. You're not going to see it. Wait, will you come all the way in? As in, you can just about see the glitter in it. And the, like I said, just, it, it does. It shimmers so, so well. Thank you, Jason. I just think an e-tron like this, GT, RS, Carbon, Vorspring Edition, with the power, with the kilowatt, with the all-wheel steering, with the specification, but most importantly, the way it drives. When I said the car was gorgeous, I wasn't exaggerating. I wasn't just saying it so I'm trying to sell the car because when I see a car, genuinely I go, that's a good-looking car. And it ticks every single box. It's just arrived. It's a phenomenal vehicle. My name's Joe, my name and number's on the bottom of the screen. If there's anything else you want to know, because I don't know for a fact I, I've missed probably more than half of what this car has to offer, but it's like anything, I can't go on for all day. My name's Joe, give me a call, drop me a text, I'll be more than happy to help you. Thanks for watching, bye-bye now.